What's up guys, it's your boy Mark, it's here back for another video on Spiritual Academy And today we're going to talk about the truth about dreams and the astral plane Alright y'all, so we all know about dreams, okay? So-called dreams, they call it dream, right? In society today, they're like, oh yeah, dreams don't really exist or it's not really real So it could be people, but some people perceive it as, okay, they can be telling me something Or even people who are so-called unawakened, right? Everyone is awakened to an extent right but um even people that are unaware people who, are, who is not aware of the realm today they even know some of the dreams tell them some things like i've had an experience to where like my mom and my sister and myself had the same dream not the same night but like different days like you know what I'm like different days like we had not the exact same dream but similar dream about the same situation right so it was like okay boom this is telling us some words a message in here right so the dream world, right? Or so-called the, the dream world, the astral plane, right? Astral plane is the fourth density, right? It's a density that people, a lot of people say you go after you transition out of the body or whatever. But um, pretty much when you dream, your soul, right? Your soul, your, your energy, your, your consciousness leave the body. And this is how you perceive it as dreams. You're experiencing, the, you are, you're experiencing these realms, right? You're experiencing these realms while you're so-called sleep, while your body is asleep, but your soul, oh my God. <laughs> but your soul is moving in aware and it's shifting different realities. Okay, so it's moving all the time. It's moving all the time. Um, um, in, in the realm, I feel like you connect to, let's say, your spirit guides, right? Let's say your soul choose to go to a different realm or communicate with the spirit guides and communicate with the ancestors, right? Um, I feel like they come together to project, right? This projection of energy or this information that we call dreams. It's not really dreams, it's actual reality. It's messages in the dreams, right? There's always, there's messages in every dream, right? You may not remember it, but if you remember it, write it down because all dreams have a message to some extent. Yeah, so the astral realm or the astral plane is where you uh, where you go to um, astral project. Where when you're dreaming, you go through that realm because you're in a spirit form. So you're more in the astral plane. So 3D, a uh, 3D being like a human on here cannot see your astral form because your astral form is at a higher. It's in fourth dimension, right? Just like we have all different uh, energy bodies around us that we call auras or uh, um, etheric. What is it called? I think the auric field. Thank you, spirit. Auric field around us. We have different levels: emotional body, spiritual body, physical body. Right? We have different levels of our auric field around us. When our soul, so-called, there are, I feel like it never really leaves the body, but it does leave the body to go into higher realms, whether it's the fourth dimension or wherever it chooses to go. Um, whether to project uh, information back to the uh, the physical self, right? Your 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 physical avatar, the incarnation self of it, right? Even though we are the soul, we are the over soul, we are the avatar. We're all these levels of energy, but you have to understand we're energy, we're, we're vibration, right? So, and this is the thing I thought I said about how sometimes I feel like these timelines were on, um, and I just would say probably some of y'all, most of us are not really even here. We're just projecting our consciousness or energy. Or soul whatever you want to say projecting our energy consciousness into the avatar right to have this experience and to complete or fulfill our purpose in this timeline right so y'all could take it as that but i do believe that um we have we go to the astral realm our soul leave the body goes to the astral realm to have certain experiences or like basically to go home uh for how for how long that is because we right time does not exist so our sleep pattern between 10 p.m to 8 a.m right in the morning um you don't know how long that time then sometimes we wake up sometimes we go back to sleep and have multiple dreams so it just depends upon your per your 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 uh, preferences uh because i i didn't have like two or three dreams in one form you know what i'm saying we be having multi dreams i feel like they'd be our soul having going to different dimensions or shifting different uh, energies are going to different places in those astral realms, right? Where the more soul realm, the spirit 
realm, right? Uh, the realm above ours, the fourth dimension, which people say is merging with this realm, which you guys can believe what you want and do your own research, go within. Um, but people say the fourth dimension is merging with this. And that's why a lot of times we wake up between three and five because during three and five, the spiritual realm is the, 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 the veil is the thinnest between the fourth dimension and the third dimension. The third dimension is a more, more dense human reality, the everyday life. In the spiritual world which is more of the unconscious side of yourself the more spiritual soul spirit realm right the the, the realm where our spirits so-called go right uh take what resonates uh, uh the, the realm where our soul goes after uh this incarnation cycle right and we choose to uh or you go through so-called death it's not really death it's not really dying because we cannot die our energy our soul is eternal so we just transform into a different form and go into the higher realms right I don't feel like you feel pain and none of that it's just what they project on society nowadays to make you see oh my god it's bad and everybody wearing black like no the soul is free from the avatar and it's not bound here you know what i'm saying so if anything it's a celebration of life of the purpose of why that soul choose to have a physical life here and it's it's cycle of leaving the body again and going back home to the spiritual realms because that's where we all come from as a soul right so uh, I, I almost said 12 12 on the clock, but I already saw 12 12 before I report this. Look at that 12 12. Maybe, maybe one of y'all got a message in there 12 12. Okay, um, but uh, yeah, but um, it death is always looked at as bad. There is no death, it's a human construct. It's fake 12 33 on the clock. It is fake. You cannot die. Your soul is eternal. Your energy, your consciousness is eternal. We only switch and transform forms. So I, it's, it's basically like GTA. Or, or let's say, uh, uh, what is it called? Watch Dog Legion, how you can switch bodies. It's just like that. We just transform to a different form, a more energy being form, and we elevate from the physical body, the physical um, realm, period. So I don't feel like you feel no pain. None of that is just society that makes that. People go through uh, like experiencing uh, so-called death in ways that could be painful, but no, you don't. Anyway, moving on from that. <laughs> But yeah, that's where we go after. That's what they say we go after we transition out of the avatar incarnation cycle. Okay? So, um, yeah. But dreams. Dreams are very heavy, y'all. Pay attention to your dreams. Matter of fact, I have my dreams. I'll pull it out right now. Hopefully, it don't take too long. I don't want y'all to be here forever, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, just, 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 let's pull it out, you know what I mean? Let's pull it out. I might not have any. Oh, there it go. Boom. Bam. See, it didn't take that long. <laughs> Okay, ah, mm, dream, my old trusted dream journal. I know it says the whole Matthew 17, 20 on there, but don't be mistaken. So I had this dream journal when I first started uh, my awakening back in 2020. Uh, keep it, right? Have it as like your your book because this is your spiritual self communicating to you, so your soul communicating to you, so your guides communicating to you, your ancestors, right? Some of, you, some of us have dreams where we're connecting to somebody in that dream and they're talking to us. Um, sometimes those are guys. I feel like sometimes that's even your soul just communi communicate to its physical uh, incarnation self, right? But um, yeah, I wore our higher self as well. I feel like our higher self come through in dreams. Facts. I feel like it be our higher selves, nine times out of ten, communicate to us through the dream, through other people. But yeah, have a dream journal. Like I have my dream journal. Uh, the first thing, six sixteen twenty. So this is when I first started. I started my waking in uh, May. 20 to something so this is like almost not like a month but boom i won't share the whole thing it's kind of like a private it do say private dream journal a little in the beginning so i won't share too much like i want to go back through this like i have it's thick what the last dream i had on here that i wrote down was uh uh what was that what's that september 24th 2021 so that was my last journal entry in this book i still got a whole notebooks of dreams like don't okay it's crazy but yeah keep a dream journal that's another thing number this is the number one keep a dream journal like i love mines they have like a little you know a little print on there y'all can barely see but you have like a little print on there and it says faith can move mountains on here right so yeah keep it down and then even even on here y'all like passes I, I wrote down things i want boom boom this is what i want i said i want a new house space more space Right, the new house is for more space to be financially free to create or work on a project to help others, which I'm doing now. <laughs> but yeah, trip to the beach, still haven't done that yet. Master my psychic abilities, I'm working on that. Raise my vibration to higher frequencies. I'm already here. Hey, well, from then I'm here, but I'm still working on that too. Uh, 
uh, connect more to my heart self. I feel like that's working out. That's working out good. Start a planet fitness routine. Let go of fear. Ooh, look at that. My old self was like, hey, yes. Let go of fear. That's number one. Ah, I just looked through that. That's crazy. All right. And these are things I still want. And, if, and, and this thing, because we are actually moved. Funny enough, I didn't get the more space I wanted when I wrote this down, but I did move to this house that I'm in now. So, manifestation? I think so. Uh, financial free. So, these things I'm still working on, I still want to manifest. Write it down, right? Like, you can have a dream journal where you just save a lot of space and like have like two or three pages just for yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, have like two or three things, pages for yourself to write down things you want, your goals. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, write it down, dream journal. It's not just dreams. Write down things you want in this, okay? With the intention of keeping that in the high realms, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it on that. Uh, dreams in the astral plane. The more I really wanted to speak about on the astral plane was that the astral plane, there's there's beings and, and see mediums, um, mediums can connect to spirits that's who, what nine times out of ten they connect into spirits that's in the fourth dimension that's in the dimension higher than us right now that are in spirit form right people who've passed on that we cannot see they're still here like they're either they're in fourth dimension or they're sending outside of the outside of that density and they went on to other things uh or whatever but um pretty much pretty much they're most of the souls and spirits that the mediums, mediums connect to are in the fourth dimension or they come through uh yeah come through them directly they could be in higher realms too but the fourth dimension is where a lot of souls are a lot of people who are passed over who are still waiting to transition to higher realms or to whatever to do whatever they want because i feel like once you go through that process um you obviously you have free will so you get to choose if you want to incarnate or wait a little bit check on your family you, like i feel like you have that choice as a soul once you transition out of this life uh, out of this physical life at least but uh yeah I'm, i feel like pretty much that's it y'all like we ain't gonna go too too in, like that don't get me wrong there's so much about dreams people can have prophetic dreams right we'll talk about a little bit about this far go we'll talk about a little bit but people can have prophetic dreams right i have prophetic dreams uh, uh those dreams tell you what's really going on right they, they literally tell you okay this is happening like i literally told myself in my dream like i am me talking bro my dreams really be telling me facts and my that's what i said in my dream like that that's what came to me that was my dream right that was me saying that so i was like mm, yeah that came through that's facts but the thing is is i already knew this but i didn't know this to this extent now because i mean, i had a dream once where i i heard on the news or something they was going to say something about food and flake or whatever it was right but it actually happened and i had that dream months before it happened so it happens and i've been having it a lot more now like i've been having more prophetic dreams like um i had a dream uh that i was i had we, man, i remember my mom had bought this 40 pack of water and she was like all right you and your sister split it right boom i already had water but she was like split it. I, I, I ain't split it and in the dream i remember getting a knife and cutting it splitting it 20 20 down the middle and i did that the next morning <laughs> so i literally I, literally y'all and they'd be like short dreams in there, but it'd be facts. So, hey, just, just go off how you feel. And I feel like we, I can see the future in certain things. Like, I'm literally, I feel like I'm a seer low-key. But, like, more dreams. Like, I haven't really tapped into that in the like, in the waking life yet. Maybe I should now that I'm speaking about it. But, um, write down your gifts, okay? If there's something y'all experiencing in y'all dreams or even in your waking life, write that journal that junk down, okay? Because let me tell you, I got my dream journal, y'all. And I got my journal journal, okay? The journal I have here. This is where I journal, okay, this is my life. Today I did this today. And my most recent one was you know, a while back. Well, a couple days ago. Was February 12th, which was a minute ago. Okay, so I've been sleeping on journal. I, I have. But today I'm going to make time to journal. Put that in my, in my notebook in the back of my head. Remember to journal today. Okay? <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Like, I can, if y'all want me to do a part two to this, um, definitely comment down below. There's so many different dream aspects and different astral plane things you can do. It's so much, right? Because a lot of times, in the, the even people speak about when we go into the astral realm, we actually use our Merkaba to like go different places. It's so much, okay? So, if y'all want a part two, comment down below. Again, my name is Marcus. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Spiritual Academy. I'm out of here. Peace.